good news, she is going to go back to work. She is going to continue doing her podcast. Hi guys, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Ellie Urquhart. I am a psychic medium, a life coach, and founder of Ellie Urquhart Cosmetics. The makeup that you guys are seeing on my face is from my own makeup brand. If you guys are interested, go to ellieorchetteshop.com. We have vegan, organic, cruelty-free makeup and skincare. If you guys wanna to come to me for a session, go to ellieorchetteshop.com. Please give this video a like. And if you guys like content like this, I hope that you consider subscribing and let's get to today's video. All right, so I was up to like five o'clock in the morning and I don't know why, I was on TikTok. I was watching a lot of readings and stuff like that and like collective readings. And I came across a couple of clips early this morning on Wendy Williams and I am a huge fan of her. I've done videos on her I think on this channel and I'm kind of concerned. Now there was a time a couple of months ago that she kind of was like almost like paralyzed or had dementia. It's just like her sickness just like changes like the story keeps changing about her and she was like in a wheelchair and she couldn't walk anymore and she just like looked really bad and now she's walking again and she seems normal but she's super thin but the way she's thin is really weird it's like her legs are super thin but then her upper body is still like like big you know what i mean it's like she has like a tummy or i don't know her body looks really weird so I'm gonna do a reading on her because apparently she's supposed to come back and she's, she's doing podcasts and things like that. Now, her fans are really concerned. So I thought for the fans to do a reading on her. So let's just get into it. Um, disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is just my psychic opinion. I don't know her or anything. This is, these are not facts. It's just what I feel and see. Okay, so Wendy Williams, I know she's a Leo. How you doing? Like, I love her, you guys. She's, oh my God, I hope she's gonna be okay. Um. Anyways, let's see what's going on with her. I'm wearing amber today, by the way, to match my dress, which is orange. And I look like a geisha girl. Oof, so she got, she has a six of wands in reverse. So six of wands upright talks about success, winning, um, you're basically like above your enemies and you're winning and you're coming home with your success and everyone's like applauding you. It's in reverse. People are judging her, probably ridic ridiculing her, uh, making fun of her. So that's kind of the energy. Um, there is someone that's managing her. I don't know who this is. Did she get a divorce from her husband? I don't know anything about her. I just saw the clip and I want to make a video for her fans. So there is someone that's contemplating if they want to put her out there, if they want to continue putting her out there, like allowing her to do like her, her uh, podcast. However, good news, she is going to go back to work. She is going to continue doing her podcast. She needs to make money. I mean, she has money, but she, she wants to work. I think more than anything, I don't think, I don't even think it's about money. I think she just wants to have something to do, have something to look forward to. She wants to do her podcast and she enjoys it. Is everything else okay with her? There's an older person. I don't know if that's a guy she's dating or someone that's helping her, an agent or manager. The wish card, okay, and the world card. So things are gonna start turning around for her. So things are gonna start turning around for her. We have the, we have the nine of uh, cups the world card, the magician, and then the hermits. Let me see what this means right now. She's manifesting what it, what it, whatever it is that she wants, which is work related. Her manifestations and the things that she's trying to, to do are all work related. But at the end of the day, she's gonna be alone. She's, be, she's gonna be alone, she's gonna be single. She's not gonna be with anybody and i don't know if that's going to be good for her mental health she's still sad about the person that this was it her husband that was cheating on her left and right she's still really sad about that um but you know she's single she's successful she's making money but what is wrong with her what is wrong with her something is wrong with her did they do mk ultra on her did they 
did they do MK Ultra on her? This is her, you guys. The strength card is Leo. She's a star. She has so many fans that love her. They want the best for her. They're actually genuinely worried for her. Um, she may not be ready to come back to work, but she wants to come back to work. Anything else? She has some legal issues that she's dealing with. She's gonna win. Whatever the issues are, I don't know what the issues are. I don't know if she's legally divorced. I don't know anything about her situation. I just saw something in the news about her at five o'clock in the morning and I was like, I'm gonna get up and make a video about her. Um, there is something legal that's happening where she's, it seems like she's gonna win, she's gonna be okay. Okay. Um, she's scared about it. Spirit wants her to rest. Spirit wants her to rest and I think love is gonna come in for her. Ironically, I hate Gemini's, Gemini men, but um, she's a Leo and I think a Gemini man is gonna come into her life eventually. If she takes care of herself, if she takes care of herself, if she's resting and she can do her podcast, but then like maybe like exercise or something, she's doing something really unhealthy. I don't know. I see her taking like a lot of prescription medication. Disclaimer, the studio is for entertainment purposes only, okay? For legal reasons, I don't know. This is just what I'm seeing psychically. Uh, I see like tons of like medication around her, like by her bed or on her coffee table. Something like she's just like taking it like um that was that was a confirmation. What see my phone is never on, you guys. Whenever I say something and like we hear a noise, that's like spirit is giving me confirmation. So I just see her just taking these this medication like it's tic tac. She's just like taking it. So if she gets off of these prescription medications, if she takes care of herself, starts eating healthy, exercising, I don't think she's eating properly. I think she wants to be skinny. I think she wants to lose weight, but she's losing it in a weird way. Um, I wish somebody would tell her about intermittent fasting, really like I eat really, really bad, but then I do intermittent fasting. Like I eat burgers and fries and you know, pie and ice cream, and then like I don't eat for like 18 hours, 20 hours. Sometimes I do like an intermittent fasting, sometimes I do like a day fast. So then my body just like cleanses it, like my body goes into ketosis and burn the fat for energy. So there, you don't have to take measures like taking medication to lose weight and then becoming anorexic or malnourished because you wanna be skinny, right? So I don't, I, I feel like she doesn't have anybody around her that cares about her like that or loves her like that. People do see her as like a, a, a potential of just making money um, so she so they can get handouts from her. But she she is gonna get, if she takes, if she takes care of herself and kind of get back to how, cause she is beautiful. Um, she is gonna find love again. She's gonna find, so Wendy Williams, if you ever come across this channel, or this video, love you, huge fan, how you doing? Um, you're gonna find love again, honey. It's probably gonna be with a Gemini man, so be careful, they're fucking, you know, what's the word for that? What's the word for a Gemini man? I can't even verbalize it, it's so bad. But anyways, you're gonna find love, she's gonna find love, and everything's gonna be okay for her, so she's gonna be okay. Anything else about Wendy Williams? Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. She's also, she also has a strong connection to God. Now I know in the industry, they're all Satanists and devil worshipers and they do fat sacrifices and crazy shit, right? With that, which I think she's done some weird shit to kind of make it. We're, we're not gonna get into that. But she is spiritually speaking, she loves God. And God is also watching over her. God is also protecting her. God is also trying to re-enter her life, okay? Uh, which is really beautiful to see. Yeah, she just needs to um, 
I'm a huge fan of Jeffree Star. I learned how to do my makeup because of watching his videos on YouTube and he inspired me to come out with my own Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I didn't even know what Velour Liquid Lipstick was until I started watching him and I was like, what is that? You put it on and it won't come off? Um, and it's vegan and what? So literally my cosmetic line was inspired because of Jeffree Star. And I know he's toxic, but I don't care. Um, there's a, there's a thing that he says when he's making his videos and stuff and he's always like, you know, Jesus, take the wheel. And I really feel that for Wendy. Like, Wendy needs to just like let Jesus take the wheel. Just let God take, take over. Just rest. Get healthy. You're going to be okay, kiddo. We love you. We support you. And, and I wish nothing but the best. And I hope that your podcast is going to be successful. And I just don't want people making fun of her. Uh, because there might be some addiction issues here with prescription or alcohol something there's something that she does that makes her kind of loopy and I think it's prescription medication anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down below again if you guys want to come to me go to elerica.com if you guys want to purchase my beautiful makeup which is vegan organic cruelty free and the skincare and the blush and the highlighter and the eyelashes the whole shebang go to elerica.com love you guys and I'll see you guys soon bye